Good morning, friends. Welcome to Friday, the final day with Joe May. I want to call our attention to St. Luke 18, 27, which says, And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. This text focus on Jesus as he reminds believers that what seems impossible to man is possible with God. You see, our lives are filled with a variety of circumstances. Those that are positive and fulfilling generally uh, describe as ups. Things are all on the up and up. Those that are negative and unrewarding, we generally describe as our downs. Oh, look at Tom. He's down today. He's not himself. He's burdened down with some things or some things are confronting him that's not real good. Well, we have found that life is filled with ups and downs, good times and bad times, successes and failures. We relish the ups and we dislike the downs, don't we? But the two are, are interconnected. You see, the downs help us to appreciate the ups and the ups help us to bear the downs. We need a combination. I don't think we can survive with all downs and no ups in our lives. You see, every Christian should get a, a consolation from knowing that, that the God we serve is the one who succeeds or who stresses the ups. He stresses the ups of life and help us to see the downs only as temporary lulls on the journey toward the Canaan land. Well, as the steeple on every church point upwards, so does our faith points to God. You see, in times of sadness, loneliness, or fear, all we need to remember is that God sits high and he looks low. He guides. He guides our feet wherever we go. You know, I enjoy music and most of us love music. And usually on the piano, you have black keys and white keys. But to get the full, the full potential of a piano or keyboard, you play the black keys with the white keys. So we live a life with the ups and the downs. With the ups, we celebrate, we rejoice and thank God. And with the downs, we have the confidence that we serve an uplifting God who's capable of bringing up bowed down heads and who's capable of turning a lot of our downs into some up experiences. Will you pray with me? Oh God, we find ourselves in a tug of war many times, wrestling and grappling with the ups and downs of life. And we know that through your word and through your promise to be with us that our downs is only a short time. And it helps us realize that we're gonna have some up days because of your love, your grace, and your mercy. And right now, oh Lord, we are, we are in a down time. We don't have answers for our circumstance or situation, but we know that you hold the answer and the key in your hand. So our faith looks up to you, thy lamb of Calvary, who came down to die for the world, but who ascended back up to the heavens. And if we but have faith and believe in you, we shall experience that eternal glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.